here. And this year, if you haven't seen his amazing sacred geometry, teleportation, multidimensional <laughs> device outside, please experience it and talk to Brian. Amazing, beautiful star brother. But, thank you, Jonah. <laughs> thank you. All right, so I'm here today to uh, share a little bit of the energy and information that's come through, some of it just in the past few months, some of it in the past year. Um, most of it has not been on this planet before, and actually some of it has not been anchored into creation anywhere before. Um, so I'm Brian Besco from Twisted Sage Studios in South Dakota. I work with my sister, uh, Brenda Snow. She channels the Elders Three. Um, Thoth is like her right hand. Well, Thoth just walks with her Metatron's like her right hand. Um, humble country gal. She has been anchoring in some energies onto this planet for over a year now, and this is the soul matrix. Now, the soul matrix is that spark in our heart. Um, you know, everybody talks about our light that we carry within the heart. Now, the soul matrix is something that... Um, Again, it's never been anchored into any part of creation before. Now, this, this soul spark, this contains all that you are, not just your soul, your oversoul, your soul family. This is like everything, all the way through to source. Now, you know how our past lives can affect us, and when we carry that stuff right here in the heart and how that can affect us. So, in the beginning, it was a little rougher to anchor in the soul matrix. Now, it is super simple, easy, and actually, I'm going to offer that to everybody here today. Um, to go through simple meditation to anchor all of that in. Um, another thing that's, and that's a little over a year old that that's been coming in. My sister, she had to anchor it into the cows, the plants, the people that she worked with, all this in the beginning just to carry this frequency for us all to get it in easier. Like my dad, his soul wouldn't allow it for the first five months. Um, so it is up to your higher soul self. So any of the activations, attunements that we do today, it's, it's all up to the bigger you. So... Um, Anyway, the, the other thing that's been coming through is the new geometries that are now on the planet. Now, nobody's really seen or talking about these new geometries, and my sister's really trying to get a grasp on them. But it comes through this activation with Metatron and the blues. Now, these specific blues, um, that energy has never been on the planet before either. And the, this energy, it's a healing energy. Healing's kind of what occurs with, with all these activations and attunements. Um, this Metatron um, activation is basically you, all these geometries come up through the bodies, through not just the physical, the mental, the emotional, but all bodies that we are. And it does all this aligning, cleaning, clearing, healing. Um, it's just amazing, amazing stuff. And now Gaia is anchoring all this in, as well as many other groups of beings that are here to assist the earth. Um, my sister is also working with some crystal beings, and again, this energy has not been here before. Um, then we're working with another friend who's uh, a phenomenal theta healer, and a year ago she started working with this, um, this new fabric of consciousness. And this new fabric of consciousness is kind of like when we, when we were here a long, well, when we were there a long time ago and we were talking about our role on the earth for soul growth and learning and creating this mass consciousness grid that we would all plug into to help us with all those soul growth and learning experiences. Um, we were like, okay, what are we going to do as soon as we're complete with that and we're ready to move on to something, you know, into this new, new world that we're creating right now? And we're like, okay, we're going to just create this new fabric of consciousness. We're going to be able to unplug from this grid. So a few months ago, we actually witnessed every human on this planet, everybody incarnate, unplugged from the mass consciousness grid. We grounded into the crystal sun of the earth and there was still, you know, like a fifth of the population that were just still going through their processes. So, I mean, as we unplugged from that grid, we were plugging into this new fabric of consciousness in replace of that. And so this fabric of consciousness is something that as we are a soul and we have all these experiences throughout all of our incarnations and we carry all these experiences and a lot of times we are going through them over and over again but our soul doesn't want to let that go because there's a reason for that so that reason is to weave that into this new fabric of consciousness 
the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Because that way, anybody who comes in now, they do not have to come in and do the, the soul growth and learning. They plug right into this fabric of consciousness, and they have it all there. That way we have all that knowledge and wisdom as a collective for the human race that we can connect to. So then we can go into creating something totally new and different, which is what we're really doing right now. Um, so in order to get there to be creating all this new and different stuff, you know, this soul matrix is a huge thing. Um, so I'd just like to walk you guys through the activation of the soul matrix. It all starts from within the sacred space of the heart. Um, you know, within the sacred space of the heart, the physical heart. Um, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, like, June Blow's work where he talks about going into the heart space and um, bringing our consciousness from here into here. And so that's what we're simply going to do is just bring our consciousness into the heart because that's where we connect to all that we are. And that is where we're going to bring in that soul matrix, that entire soul spark, and that gets anchored into the heart. Um, this soul matrix, we've seen miracles take place from this. I mean, people with fist-sized tumors in their lung, my sister will do a telephone session with them to help activate their soul matrix. They take their light, they wrap it up, three weeks later, the tumor's gone. I mean, for me, I had tears and dislocations through my shoulder. It was the very first time we were playing with the soul matrix. We wrapped that up, I took a three-hour nap, it's like nothing happened. I mean, we see miracles daily from people's own self-healing because their connection and using their, their light, the entire source of their light. Um, so anyway, quick, easy stuff. This is simple. So all we're going to do is go into the heart space. We're going to ask the higher soul self, the highest soul self, to bring in the soul matrix. So as you picture your heart within your physical heart, your light, we're going to take your light sending that straight down into the earth all the way down to the crystal sun within the earth and then she shines that light straight back up we send that straight up to source creator god central sun however you see and say that and bringing that back down as you stand as that calm of light and you are grounded you are connected and you are in the heart with all that you are we just ask that higher soul self to bring in that soul matrix. To me, I see it as a spiraling golden energy. It comes down to the crown. It just flows through the body, permeating every cell of the body and in between every cell of the body. This anchors into the heart. And however you see and feel this, it is perfect. For me, I see it and feel it as a golden, goopy energy that just sits in the heart. Now you can take that energy, which is divine awareness, and you can wrap up anything on the physical body and step out of the pain. We're not having expectations or intending a, an outcome with this. All we do is wrap it up in our light. Now this also works for anything like life situations. This works for things that come up in the world. So if there is something that comes into your awareness, Send it your light. Wrap it up with your light. And this is the most powerful thing in all of creation, is your light anchored right here in this body. Because this brings through everything that you are, all that you are throughout all time, space, dimensions, incarnations, realities, past, present, future. Your entire spark is what that light is. And it's tangible. So next, I'll just offer this next attunement activation to you. And this is the blues and this geometry that comes from Metatron. And again, it's up to the soul on, you know, whether you receive this or not. We've never, I've never met a soul who didn't receive this geometry activation in plants and animals and everybody. So as we're standing in that sacred space and we are our column of light and we have that that soul spark energy that's just permeating through our entire body. There are three beings. One of them is Metatron, one of them is my sister, and one of them is Talk. He is a master healer of the blues. Those three stand around you, and you stand on this platform of geometries. Now then, as these three beings stand around you, and they're holding that space for all that you are, that energy of you expands out, 
and it comes in contact with that blue, foggy, crystal energy of the blues. And this is a healing energy. If you can grasp that blue energy, you can use that for healing along with your soul matrix. Now then the geometry comes out of the body, kind of like the Merkaba. All humans have the same geometry. Plants each have their own geometry. Animals each have their own geometry. Then these geometries come up from below your feet and they go up through all bodies, the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual bodies, causal, everything, all the way up to the spark of source. And this just allows for healing. It's, it's uh, one of the most amazing things. It is connecting us to all that we are and bringing it all in. All right, and that is the simple easy of it. I mean, this stuff is so simple and easy. And, you know, we do, for years we've done the, the crossing over of people, you know, waywards, ghosts, whatever you want to call that. Now, just recently, we've been, you know, shown and told by many of them that we need to activate that soul matrix within them. Because that way, they, as they are still here on this earth plane, in that form of a wayward of a ghost, when you activate that soul matrix, and then they cross over to go home to be all in complete with themselves, then they really have a choice to whether they come back here or not. When we're working with entities like these great big beings who seem malicious and everything, you know, you just go in and you activate their soul matrix. To me, I just look in the spark of their heart and I just go like that. I just intend that they are connected, they are grounded, intending that their higher soul brings in their soul matrix. You know, and when we're doing this, we're not violating the free will of anybody because we are working with that highest soul aspect of every being when we do this. And it is that soul aspect that determines and whether, whether this happens. But when we activate that to those great big bad guys, they drop agendas and they turn around and go. I mean, it is a beautiful thing. So anymore, we're not, you know, being the spiritual warriors. We're not out there, you know, being the galactic police and the cosmic police. We're just, we're just sending unconditional love through activating their soul spark. And it's a beautiful thing. Um, and so the more people that begin to do this, I mean, it's, it's changing everything. Um, in this golden light weaver grid that I was talking about earlier, this is something, too, that comes through all of our tools, like our floor plates, our ascension chamber, and a lot of the rings actually contain this energy and information. So I'm known as the master builder, creating these tools through lifetimes. They're created on this higher dimensional plane, and they're anchored into the physical through the sacred measures. So this is just one way that we can get this out there to where people can have all these attunements and activations, you know, simply and easily. Um, we're also putting this video up on YouTube for everybody to access for free. And then everybody who watches that video, as well as all the other videos we have out there, we've already gone soul to soul with every individual. So they get the attunements and activations as well. And so for you guys, you can simply carry this frequency and energy and everybody else is going to come into alignment with that. Or if you're doing the conscious work with people, you can go soul to soul with that person and just offer up that activation to them. And it'll be their soul who determines when, whether they accept that or not. So anyway, I try to make this really short and sweet so that way we can keep up with uh, our time here today so that everybody has their opportunity to speak. Um, it's, it's always an honor and pleasure to be at Earthshift and Star Knowledge, and, um, and thank you guys very much, too. Uh, you're welcome to come up and experience the Ascension Chamber, um, which we have just up on the hill, and we have all of our tools. What's that? Two hummingbirds for us. Two hummingbirds. <laughs> right on. Yeah, it's, it's interesting what's attracted to that, because um, it's, it's such a beautiful energy field, and... Um, you know, all this stuff is working with that higher soul aspects of us. So anyway, thank you guys very much.